And those homes mm. now, Whoa. they're probably going for 200000 no, or so, two, two fifty. Still way more affordable over there. But we've got a lot of cool things over here, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, like rainbows. Yes. Yes, like rainbows, <laughs> the ocean, the mountains. I know Spokane's If you're just tuning in, too, that makes no sense, but we showed a rainbow we earlier. A Sometimes I just make no sense. Yeah. It's very true. But I make complete sense because we're talking about... I can't even say that with a straight face. Uh, we had 16, 107 inch of rain, ladies and gentlemen, sitting here in the Seattle area. Check it out. The coach picked up two tenths to three tenths of an inch of rain. Oh, man, it has been so needed that we have, uh, you know, it's been half the month without rainfall, finally getting some to pick up, and we got more coming in over the next couple of days. So here's some of the higher hit spots. We had a good amount of rain coming in out towards Great Grace Harbor County. Shout out to you folks. Almost a half of an inch. And then Covington, Maple View Middle School, you guys picked up four tenths of an inch of rain just within a couple hours. Okay, this basically happened this evening in Bremerton, one of the hot spots as well. So those are one of the higher hit locations. SeaTac specifically, 16 hundredths of an inch of rain every other day this month, nothing. So we got to get to about that two inch mark to hit our average for the month. Now, what's left going into tomorrow, there's a new storm that we're tracking, likely to hit us by the afternoon to evening. And so that wave is going to come up from the south maybe give us another tenth to two tenths of an inch of rainfall. But the showers coming in here and there spitting at us, uh, that'll keep us somewhat active to the end of the week. And eastern Washington even going to pick up some rainfall with this as well. Currently, radar, uh, a lot of the activities east of Highway 405, east, let's, let's just say the foothills is where we're seeing most of that energy currently. One batch of moderate rainfall sitting over Highway 18 right now, which could cause some driving concerns, but that should be out of here soon. And then also, uh, up towards Birch Bay, uh, we do have some of this uh, leftover li residual precip that's leaving the San Juans. Everybody else pretty much dry. So the big picture here shows we get a small break going into tomorrow morning. That next cloud deck is going to be pushing in tomorrow afternoon, and then the rainfall quickly behind it. So these waves of showers will continue uh, pretty much every single day across the state. Here locally, we're going to be getting our best chances uh, tomorrow, I think, after the loon hour, and that's going to push up from the south. There's your rainfall that I was just talking about. Again, not going to amount to much, but still going to give us something. And then on Thursday, relatively quiet. We got to watch for conger convergence zone rain. And what's unique about this next system on Thursday is it's going to impact the Yakima Valley and the Columbia Basin. And as that engulfs eastern Washington, we could see some spillover going over the Cascade Crest and coming into the west side here. So that'll be towards the end of the week. And then the weekend, uh, pretty much the same story with showers coming and going, sun breaks here and there, maybe some more rainbow action, which will be nice. So temperatures are going to be staying in that low to mid 60 range. And it does look like we've got a chance for showers pretty much every single day. And this trend will stick with us through next week as well.